Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to remove the supercharger from the S4. Um, it's very simple actually, so I'm going to show you all the procedure that you need. Um, only problem is that I have the aftermarket if you take. That, um, it's basically just the same as the original OEM ones. Um, basically it's just a screw here and there's a breather hose here, somewhere that I tuck it behind. You gotta pull it up. There you go, yeah. This is the one. So mostly just remove it and it should be good to go. Alright, um first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys where you should start from first. Uh, basically you need the breaker bar. Uh, this is the tensioner bar. You can get it from Shopee or AliExpress or anywhere. Um, it's a 14 mm. Oh, sorry, it's a 15 mm. So it's really hard getting there. So you can't just use a normal ratchet, and you need something like really long, like this. Yeah. You want it to make sure that it's a really long bar that you can reach it, and it's really skinny, I guess, to get in through the fan shop between the pulleys. So yeah. You always, always want to get the belt first out uh, because you don't want to open up everything and realize that you cannot get to the belt. So I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna post up pictures of where it's supposed to, like you, know, get it to. Oh my god, it's really, really tight. Hold on. Oh sorry, it's a 16 mm, not 15, my bad. Uh, 15 was for my another car. So you gotta make sure it's in there. As soon as it's in there, should be good to go. Alright, so you wanna turn it this side, right? To the right. Okay? As soon as you turn to the right, you can get the belt off. Uh, yep, you know what? Get this cover out of the way. Yep, get that out. There will be another cover here, but I don't have them. Uh, I used to have a nitros. As you can see, yeah, there's a bung here. I had nitros and water map injection here. So, yeah, that's why. Alright. Yeah, it's out. Um, what I like to do mostly is that I like to leave it here first and cable tie it so it doesn't drop all the way. Yeah. You want to make sure you cable tie something not related to the supercharger. You know, you don't want to go back all the way again and, you know, and make sure. Yeah, you can just connect to this electrical connector. It's fine. It's not. It's not going to remove anyways. Um, secondly, obviously, you want to make sure that you got to remove this too. But before you remove all of that, you got to take out your air intake. I've always used Bosch. Uh, Bosch is, you know, known for one of the best tools you can ever get. Everything I use is Bosch. It's good. It's a ratchet, so if you, yeah, it's really easy to work on. You can also lock it just to make it as a non-ratchet. So yeah. That's a uh, 7mm. It is simple as that.
All right. Next is you want to get every electrical connectors out. And um, I'm going to show you what all the connectors are. These are the MAF sensor. There's a clip here. It's like grey colour. Just push it and then pull it up. Simple as that. Here as well. This is a map sensor. What it does is it detects the air pressure. Air pressure, uh, intake temp and stuff like that, you know. To remove this, right, there are two clips here. You gotta just push it and wiggle it up. Just wiggle it up. You come. There we go. And here, it just slides up. Yeah. Um, you can leave the connector, doesn't matter. This is uh, the bypass connector. This is the bypass valve where um, you know, turbocharged car you have something like a blow off. Yeah, but here if you close the throttle, it doesn't really affect. There's no pressure going back to the turbo, it's going to cause compressor surge and stuff like that. But uh, with a bypass valve, what it does is you see if you're at 5000 rpm, we are throttle really close, this air has to go somewhere so it recirculates back inside the supercharger uh, let's remove this it's just a clip here and then just pull up see simple you don't really have to force things you know i mean yes these clips are you know waterproof really tight but yeah it's not and never over never pull from the wires yeah you don't want to do that you want to make sure you pull everything from the clip same as here. Push it. One. Alright. Uh, some people like to label them. It's better if you do. But yeah, I don't. It's not my first time anyways. Alright, if you're a first time, yeah, label them guys. Alright. So this cable here I want to make sure that you move that oh. I'm going to reroute this I'm going to find it. you know want to move this aside as well um, that's because you, you got to get to this Sooner or later, you can't remove the supercharger without removing this because it's going to get in the way. Let's see here, All right? Um, this is the throttle body connector. Just push it. And it should. Oh, mine's broken. Yeah. Oh yeah, mine's broken. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Um, that's about it. Should be no electrical connectors anymore. Um, I'll just have to true check. Yeah, I can't remember anyways. Uh, you, you want to remove this as well. Remove this. Remove this. All right, there you go. Next thing is you want to remove this hose. Oh. My glove actually tore. Yeah. I'm so you want to remove these covers right here. Um, I think it's a T25, I guess. Can't remember, I guess. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a T25.
yeah, cover this up. Um, it's basically blocking the switch idea, so you, you really need to get this out. Hey, keeps the engine looks nicer. So, yeah. What I really love about this tool that I'm using, it's magnetic, right? So basically, it keeps most of the parts together, unless it's aluminium. So see, use this as a magnet. It's not strong, you know. I always have um, hold on. I've always used a Rosen magnetic. Yeah, it's really strong. Yeah, it, you don't want to make sure you get anything drop below. But uh, I don't have splash guard right down there. Um, that was because, as you guys know, oops, I'm selling the car, and um, they wanted to check the car truly, so I left it off. So that way, when you know I deliver the car, it could check for any oil leaks and stuff like that. So yeah. And um, oh yeah, remove this. All right, get this out of the way. Now, I have no idea what else. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. So, next is just these bolts. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna use this. You don't break anything. Huh? You want to go slow, smooth, steady. Uh, you want to just like you know unlock quarter by quarter, certain size. Loose. There you go. Beautiful. Hey guys, all right. Um, this is everything removed. So switch charger has been out. Um, I had to have my wife actually like, you know, help me out, but she couldn't handle it. You know, it's kind of heavy. So I had my neighbor came and help me over, and he's like, "Why wow, you do everything yourself?" I was like, "Yeah, man." So thanks to him, you know, really appreciate it. Um. Everything seems perfect. Um, if you guys are wondering why I had the supercharger out, it's because. Oops, like it. Main reason is, uh, as you guys know, I'm selling the car. So I want to make sure that everything is in perfect condition. You see, I'm, I'm the kind of guy, I want to make sure when I sell something, people are happy with it. As you guys know, I do sleeve cables as well and businesses, and I've never ever had a customer actually complain with anything even the cars that I've sold like the GTR and everything everything was in top notch and perfect condition I mean sooner down later down the road you know if something were to go wrong you know can't expect me to know that you know I mean it's working today it might be spoiled tomorrow so but I want to make sure that the first day he gets the car everything should be okay so i'm checking everything i'm checking the throttle plates you know i'm checking the injectors connectors i'm checking the fuel sensors i'm checking every single thing um everything seems fine you know oil pressure sensor you know pcb is new it's brand new uh 
Oh, sorry, PC is bang, uh, PC is banging. Uh, to no sense. Okay, water pump is okay. Everything seems okay. There's no leak in the vacuum lines. You know, everything seems good. There's no issue anywhere. Um, nothing I could think of. You know. Everything seems good. Everything seems alright. Hey guys, sorry. Uh, my GoPro died, the battery, so I had to replace it. So where was I? Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, I just want to make sure that you know, every wire is connected. Nothing is touching to anything. I didn't have any fault codes as well. Um. I just want to make sure everything is perfect, and I love doing this, you know. So it didn't really bother me much, you know it's kind of my hobby so yep um everything seems good everything seems perfect i mean i took care of this car with love so there's no oil leakage anywhere there's no coolant leakage anywhere there's no issue with it everything seems fine the photo plate is working out um <clears throat> so yeah everything so far so good and um, I'm just gonna put it back. Uh, basically, everything is just in reverse order. <clears throat> There's nothing special to it. <clears throat> All you need to do is make sure once you assemble everything back, when you plug in the <clears throat> water to the intercoolers, the water pipe to the intercoolers. Yeah, you wanna bleed that. I have a reservoir here, so it's fine. I just like, you know, power up the pump and just let it run until it bleeds out. But yep. Everything so far so good. So thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you like it. Subscribe. Um, I'll do much more video on this. Um, probably not much on B8 as well. I mean I've done tons of it. The only problem is that I lost all the videos. So I can't really upload them. Um, I'll, I'll definitely do more videos for my next car. So stay tuned guys. Take care.